guys, welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United Savers, episode number four. Hope you're looking forward to this one, because I and myself, we have a huge encounter to kick the episode off. And uh, yeah, we're going to be playing against Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. After that, we're going to play three games off camera, we're going to regroup at Everton and then play Bayern Munich for the second game in the group phase against them. Okay, so these are the other ties in the Carabao Cup. Chelsea have already won on penalties 2-0 after drawing 1-1 with Portsmouth during the 90-minute uh, phase. Um, Nottingham Forest against Brighton, that's another tie. Arsenal against United, you guys already know about that. Newcastle United against Leicester City. So, um, if we do make it through to the next round, I, I could... I could go on a whim here and say we can go on to be favourites to actually win the Carabao Cup. That's something that we could put on our list, on our to-do list, because it is um, a competition that other um, sides don't tend to take too serious. And over in the Champions League, we are sitting at second place. We currently have four points, same amount of points as Galatasaray. As you guys already know, we drew 2-2 against them in the previous episode. Uh, comfortably at the top is Bayern Munich, first place with nine points. I found Warren Zaire Emery, someone that I've signed on Football Manager numerous of times. You guys, if you play Football Manager, you should already know about this guy. He's a, pretty much a, um, a, a hot prospect in Europe. I feel like if we were to sign him, we'll be able to nurture him. He's got the he's got decent overalls at the minute, so he could probably find himself on the pitch a couple of times in this season if we was to go for him this season or maybe even next season. 17 years of age, overall 76. I don't see this as an unrealistic signing. I know um, he came from the PSG Academy and he might have a bit more loyalty to PSG, but I don't see why a club like Manchester United shouldn't be able to attract young talent like this. Okay, so Gimerez, he's looking like one of those players that will definitely... Uh, reform my midfield uh, he, he looks like the type of player that will be able to play in my system and actually um, not look out of place uh, he's potentially going to cost us around 85 well 68 to 85 million if we was to go in for him I say this guy's definitely a summer signing if we don't get him in January uh, I'll definitely try to bid for him in the summer let me know in the comment section below what do you think about that idea. And while we're on the topic of transfers, be sure to head over to the community tab and uh, get voting because there's a there's a poll ongoing to do with the budget potentially. I do like a challenge in career mode. The reason why I do it is because, uh, yeah, I'm used to the days of where you can't sign players because they have allegiances to certain teams. Like when I used to try to sign Messi when I was younger playing FIFA 10, I always used, I always used to get the bid accepted, but the player would always reject it. Um, whereas uh, in FIFA now, you can just spend all your money on Mbappe in the first season with no credentials at all. So uh, yeah, I, I do like a bit of a challenge. So get involved with the poll. I've done everything. We've done the press conference. We've done the training session and the pre-match report. We're ready to take on Arsenal officially. In terms of uh, their form in the Carabao Cup, right now Nketia, Saka and Odegaard, they're the only players that have uh, hit the back of the net. So far, so we need to keep an eye out for Nketi if he does end up being substituted on. In terms of my starting 11, I'm not going to shuffle the pack too much. Uh, like I said, I do want to end up uh, winning the competition. Bayern there is going to be my cup goalie. So Onana is going to be taking a spot on the bench. Uh, just a quick update on the tactics. So uh, I feel like this is probably my way of combating uh, my players just walking around, not busting the gut enough and like in trying to get the ball back or in trying to win the ball in the first place. So uh, we have tweaked the tactics. I've made it more custom than it to be set to like just Tiki Taka. Because I feel like with Tiki Taka, it, we're literally just sitting in our own half and uh, we're forcing one or two players forward and it's quite irritating. I've tested out um, these tactics, like it, like I said before, in another career mode. So hopefully um, this will work. This will get the players going. Um, so yeah, we're going to be a bit more um, high up in depth. The team width at the back is going to be wider. Before I had it very narrow, um, below 50 for certain. Uh, we've got fast build up play, so I can still build up from the back, but I like to do it a, a bit faster. And um, possession, we're going to keep control of possession. That's pretty much how I played in FIFA 23. But yeah, uh, I feel like I did enough waffling for the intro of this video. Let's get into the action now. May and I versus Arsenal up next. Okay, so the game is kicked off. We're attacking to the left. Arsenal are attacking to the right. The last time uh, we faced off in an encounter at the Emirates, we drew 2-2. Almost Partick grabbing the equaliser. After we shockingly found a way to take the lead against the runner play. I'm sure Arteta is going to try to set a few uh, records straight in this game. 
looking to play some nice football. We've been struggling to get men forward. And since using the system, we've been doing quite well. Uh, bombing forward as a team. That attack there, we didn't make the right connection with the header. Unluck unlucky for uh, Rashford. Saka on the ball. Just inwards. And I'm back, get in the way. Thank you. Thank you, real dogged uh, fight there for the ball. And Amrabat comes out on top. I'm going to play a ball to the left hand side. Malassia bursting forward. That's what I like to see from my players. Cut it back. Rashford into Hoyland. Hoyland gets the shot off. Oh, there's another block by the Polish centre back. Crucial block. Arsenal, they should count themselves lucky there. Hoyland had his, uh, his sights on goal. Remains 0 0. Got a corner kick. Down this right-hand side, let's swing this one in. Rashford with the head up. Again, Ramsdale pulled into action. Saka in the penny area. Returns it to Ben White. He takes a shot. Malassia there with a block. Isn't crucial, but it helps us get the ball back. Come on, let's go. Hoyland. Oh, we're coming a lot of bodies forward, but the passes aren't making it through, which is quite frustrating. Arte just runs through. Martinelli, don't give him chance to shoot well done Lindelof 32 minutes gone ball thrown out to the right side Sancho Fernandez AWB come on Just do better than that Sancho and Zinchenko's got him in his back pocket there's a uh, Jorginho oh, not too much action so far it's just a tussle for possession Something that we've been going back and forth about. Oh, what a pass by Marcus Rashford. What a pass into Jaden Sancho. He finds the opposite corner. Top bins. 37 minutes on the clock. Jaden Sancho has given us the lead. Arsenal, they find themselves behind. Now, I can't lie. We've had a good spell at the, um, in the last couple of uh, minutes on the ball. And we've created a lot of chances from the kickoff. And I feel like we could definitely take it to them and maybe double the lead. Gabriel Zeus, Odegaard into Martinelli. Martinelli is trying to take the shot. He does. Doesn't get uh, past Martinez. Arsenal just going to keep firing shots at our goal until one sticks. And uh, that last one by Gabriel Zeus has gone wide on that right-hand post. Let's go. Lovely football there. Sancho returns it to Fernandez. Oh, look at that. Good sweet sequence of passes here. Ooh, Rashford. Oh, into... Bruno Fernandes, oh, and that back post. Maybe I should have just shot with Rashford. But I thought Bruno was going to tuck that away. It's a nice save by Ramsdale. Maybe I should have just put my foot through. I tried to place it. I went with placement rather than power. And hopefully, also don't make us pay for not doubling the lead in that moment. Our first set of substitutions, because this system is a bit taxing on my player's stamina. So, Mount is on for Ericsson. Amrabat is off for Casemiro. The interception. I think they might start committing. More players up the pitch. Saliba seemed a bit high up there. Martinelli to Gabriel Zeus. Into Odegaard. Another save from Bayern there. Oh, man of the match performance. I must say, this goalkeeper, he can't be beaten. Let's go. Jaden San... Not Jaden San... Joe Rashford to Malassia. His mount plays into Rashford. Come Malassia, wake up. He almost broke down on that left-hand side. We're going to have to... Find another avenue. He's a flat footed doing this thing again. You don't want to be on their toes, ready for a pass. Saka can't allow him to get in behind like this. Saka being chased down and hounded down by uh, Martinez and Malasio. He's got support. Oh, ball played into the middle. Shot there. Well done, Lissandro Martinez. We survived that. I really don't understand how we've done that. How we got away with it there. Saka bought himself some time, found some support. And that, that player on the right hand side, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he slowed everything down for them. Martial's now on for Hoyland. Sancho's off for Ahmad Diallo. We have taken off uh, Martinez due to tiredness, bringing on Lindelof. We, uh, we don't drop in the quality in the defence. That's the most important thing at the minute. My main focus in this episode to try shore things up. Oh, the God with a shot. And as soon as I speak about the fence, as soon as I speak about the fence, something like that happens. I don't blame Bayern there. He's, he's had a lot to deal with in this game. Too much to deal with. And uh, there's only so much you can take, really. Varane, 
He should do much better there. You, you've just come on. And you've not made the block. Goes back to Thomas Partey instead. Partey bursting forward. Oh, Arsenal moving the ball quickly now. We need to concentrate. Can't allow the levels to drop. Won't play that ball. Martial's just slow, man. Just slow. In a foot race between him and Saliba. It's just so obvious he's going to win. Let's go. Ahmad Diallo. Martial. Let's try that again. Mount Martial, what's going on with Arsenal's defending? Arsenal have just opened up there. Martial played in behind. We find the bottom right corner and uh, we're back in the lead again. Everything's restored. We've got 10 minutes to go. Hopefully in the next match, you are going to see better finishing up front. I feel like the nerves is definitely getting to me. The way Arsenal are, oh, they're relentless. They won't give up until the final whistle. Speaking of the final whistle, we're here waiting for it. Get the ball out. Thank you. It's calm. It's calm. We're through to the next round. The quarterfinals it is. I wonder who we're going to end up being uh, drawn against. Hopefully, it's going to be a tie that's uh, pretty much um, kind to us. Uh, I would love to have a kind tie. We've already beaten Wolverhampton. We've now beaten Arsenal. I feel like uh, Arsenal could potentially be the toughest side that we face in this uh, competition. That's if... Chelsea uh, end up making it through to the semi-finals uh, just as well as us. In terms of this match, though, we played quite well. They did dominate possession. I feel like we did a bit more with it. Uh, they've had a, a, they've had more attempts on goal. Whether they were on target or not, we need to find out. I just hope this game doesn't freeze. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So six shots on target from us, three from them. A few things to take a look at. So we've got more offers for Palistri. Let's see who's in for him now. Le Leipzig. Uh, I forgot to let you guys know, Chelsea wanted him on loan. So Palistri, he's not um, short of suitors. Hopefully um, we pick the right one or he chooses. Oh, I accidentally done one. Yeah, I I'm going to have to negotiate. But yeah, um, hopefully he chooses the right team. We rejected Chelsea because we don't want to strengthen them. And we definitely know he's not going to play. But um, when it comes to Leipzig and Bayer Leverkusen, I hope he picks the side that's going to give him the game time so he can potentially like challenge Sancho and Anthony. I don't want Sancho and Anthony to just think they can rock up to the Carrington and they don't have to try and train. And I want 110% from everybody, even down to the highest paid player. Um, yeah, everybody needs to give 110%. That's why I want the work rate, defensive work rate, to be high for most of the players in this squad. Players that have low work rate, medium work rate. I'm not going to lie. You're not going to be favoured because this system, it needs hard grafters. And uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely turning this team into uh, a side that can graft out results, uh, as you saw from that last uh, that last victory. But yeah, we're going to play these games off camera. We're going to regroup for the game against Everton. So hopefully by the time uh, we come together, we're going to be in a better position in uh, Group A and maybe have a better gap uh, between us and any side that's second third or fourth yeah i'm not a massive fan of Jaden sancho he's uh, coming across as a massive diva these days so uh, yeah Jaden sancho is uh pulling one on us he's uh complaining about game time i'm pretty sure we are sharing out the game time as equal as we can right now he's sitting on a uh, three goals four assists in 11 appearances his average rating currently is 6.82 so if i was to do a quick comparison between him and Anthony, even just Anthony, 6.81, fair enough. Anthony's got four goals and six assists. So he's got more goal contributions within 12 games. Uh, Marcus Rashford, 10 goals, five um, assists, 16 um, appearances, all competitions. Garnacho, okay. Garnacho, he's not really comparable. He's uh, he's up and coming right now. So Jaden Sancho, he has no reason to complain because Anthony's in, the better, he's in better form. Obviously, his average rating is lower, but the goal contributions matter to me. So, we've had the two loan deals confirmed. Pelicci will be going out on loan to Leverkusen in January, followed up by uh, Kobe Manu, who's going to be leaving to Mills. Okay, so after the Arsenal game, we played quite a few games off camera, three to be exact. We drew 3-3 against Fulham. It was an end-to-end -end kind of game. Fulham ended up bagging a late equaliser. Shock and horror. 3-1 um, victory against against Galatasaray. So we end up uh, securing the victory this time around. Didn't drop um, the two-goal lead in the end. 4-1 against uh, Luton, which was most likely my most prolific performance in front of goal. And we played really well. Completely played them off the park. But to be fair, they're in the bottom three, so I wasn't expecting anything less. But this is a reflection of those results. As you guys can see, we're on top of the table. Three points clear 
on Arsenal and Manchester City. Uh, Liverpool, their fourth place. Top four race is still wide open, so it's a title race, so it's not a foregone conclusion, but it's good to see that we're actually um, um, creating a bit of a gap between us and the rivals that are currently challenging. In the bottom three, Luton is there, Burnley, and so is Sheffield United. So I mentioned Sheffield United's uh, goal difference, and now that I've noticed it, there's uh, quite a lot of goals to concede within 12 matches. Um, Chelsea, they're struggling at the bottom, just like Arsenal in, um, in the last season of the FIFA 23 save. I really want to see one of these big sides get relegated. So I'm going to be an enemy of progress rooting for their downfall. Let's see if uh, we can get three points against Everton. We're going to take a look at the scout report and uh, do the training and we're going to head off into the game. We're most likely going to field um, the regular team sheet. In terms of Everton's players, Deli Ali's their top goal scorer. He's actually turning out for them. He's got a 6.6 .6 average rating. We need to focus on Dan Juma as well. Him and Beto, they seem to be um, playing really well. But Dan Juma, especially, only six games played and he's bagged himself uh, five goal involvements, which is good. Which is good. He matches up to Beto, who's got 11 appearances. Okay, let's get this game on a roll. Everton versus Man United at Goodison Park. Uh, See how we get on the back of a good result against Luton. International break has uh, given us some time to go back to the drawing board and regroup, and reflect on uh, the positive results that we picked up along the way. Done, good challenge there. Mount and uh, Martez doubling up. Going to be very wary of Everton, their mid table side. So uh, the form. It's inconsistent. You don't know what to expect from them at the moment. As I mentioned in the menu, uh, front three doing quite well so far this season. Can't uh, afford to slip up and give them any goal scoring opportunities. Switch a play there by Malassa into Anthony. And a bat. Long shot drive. It take a bit of a deflection. Pickford uh, not moving on muscle to try and stop that. Stood there and caught it. Mason Mount does well to win the ball back for us. The attack is still alive. Mount dummies the ball there, leaves it for Rashford and uh, try to give it back to him. Harrison, Corey. Oh, what a ball played forward. Beto, Beto through on goal. 1 0. Uh, it was poor defending there. We allowed him to be slipped in behind and we've been punished. I did say Beto is a threat. Uh, hopefully we can bounce back need to show some character bounce back 1-0 down 15 minutes played I say players uh, they've been really good to me off camera we, we figure a few things out find a goal scoring opportunity that helps us to get back into the game here's the low to Mount Malassia Eastern Mount on referee what's the Corey doing there Collision, slow me down, expecting an advantage. Three. Waves it on, Beto, pass is intercepted by Malasio, let's go, rash return. Martial, Martial gets control over the ball, Ben Godfrey fails to nip it away from him. Martial takes the shot, 1-1, one, one. we're back into it. Lovely stuff, I did say... That we needed to show character to bounce back instantly. We've done exactly that. We've responded. A Martial keeping it really cool in front of goal. Under a lot of pressure. Happy to see him on the score sheet yet again. One deeper than this. Bell cuts it back. Coleman. Coleman with a few ball rolls and there's an interception there. Rashford. Playing to Mount. Go on. Give it a go. Thank you, Mount. Good strength. Determination. There's an Anthony. He's got Martial making a run. Martial played through in the gap. Martial finds the back of the net. It's 2-1. We have turned this game around. And Anthony's playing really well. So uh, that should answer Sancho's question. He needs to step up. Show me something. Fulham was a problem. So that's uh, on the back of my mind at the minute. I've dropped to defensive just so we go into the interval with a, a lead. We've drilled into the box and uh, Onana deals with it. Rashford. Martial back into Rashford. Oh, ben Godfrey's got some work to do. Marcus Rashford through on goal. Takes a shot. Great save there by Jordan Pitford. 
Should have done a bit better. I know it was on uh, Rashford's left foot, but I did have a few options. Uh, we're heading off into the interval, 2-1 up. It's a good uh, way to respond to go on a goal down. Martial bags himself a brace. Things are looking good right now in the final third. Going centrally. He's trying to take Lissandro Martinez out of his position. He's done that already. To be fair, Martinez is supposed to be on the left side of, of the centre-back partnership. But comes away with the ball, so it was worth it in the end. Last year, Rashford to Mount. Mount gets the ball under control, plays it to his left. Molasse cuts it back. Rashford in the box. Rashford takes the shot. Does he even hit the target? Uh, more of the same. Because uh, uh, if we continue, eventually going to get another goal. Sean Dyche is uh, looking a bit worried on the touchline. I would be if I was him. Can bag a hat-trick. That'll be even better. Referee, speak to Tarkovsky. I want the free kick. I want him booked. I want him booked. Everyone's around the referee. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. Make the situation worse than it is. Ashley, why are you pleading? That's your teammate. He did what he did. Been reprimanded for it. Look at that. Aggressive. Aggressive behaviour. Sean Dyche, he sent him out to do that. Scored quite a few. Let's see if uh, we can get this up and over. Uh, oh, Jordan Pitford with the save. Tips it out for corner. All right. Trying to find a, that byline. Oh, he does. He does. Oh, Ashley Young scores. He scores from the near post. Oh, no, no. Come on, man. Unlucky. Unlucky, boys. Unlucky. We've actually played really well. We've done well to, to shut them out. It's just moments like that. Where there's, you, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Harrison. That's it back. Dan Juma. Well done. Martinez. Brilliant play there. Brilliant play from Lissandro. But well, Amrabat still need to make some changes. Ain't thinking about that right now. Ain't thinking about that right now. Come on, Anthony. Go on, Anthony. Oh, he slowed down. Slipping Martial. There's Anthony Martial. Martial for the hat trick. There we go. Anthony Martial, AM9, has bagged that hat trick. I'm telling you, when you get your arm around him, he works hard for the team. Okay, time to move a bit tactical. Hoyland is uh, replacing the hat trick here on Martial. Rashford is off. We're bringing on Ahmad Diallo. We've moved Anthony to the left. I feel like Anthony's got a good cross on him. He can just be a winger. Doesn't have to be inverted. Drake Gomez. Oh, the ball's dummy there by Harrison. Last year, standing Harrison up. Harrison getting the better of him in the foot race. Harrison puts the ball in. It's 3-3. Free, free. Can't make any of this up. Beto equalises at that near post. What a ball. What a ball by Harrison. Oh, no, no, again, suspect goalkeeping. Uh, the English media, they're not, they're not going to let this one go. They're going to keep lapping up as long as we keep giving them content for their news outlets. They're going to keep exploiting us. Look at that. Should have done better there. Should have stood up to just dies prematurely. And a better clinical finishing. Everton have done it. They salvaged a point out of this game. We turned things around at 1-0 down. We looked like the positive side. We were playing free-flowing football. It was looking great. Rembo was in full effect. There's a glitch right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Everton nonetheless have fought back. They've actually deserved it, if I'm honest with you. It was, their last two goals were actually really good. Uh, uh, unlucky for my players, as you guys can see. It was a bit of a back-and-forth, end-to-end stuff. 55% possession to their 45. Nine shots um, to their four. Let's see how many we got on target. Uh, Pitford did deal with a few shots, point blank. Seven on target. We, we were we were cooking. I can't lie, we did cook. Uh, performances, we played well um, in certain areas. Marshall obviously stood out. Uh, Varane, the centre-back partnership was good. Uh, so was Malasia. Anthony was, a, was in good form. Ericsson was a passenger, though. So was Diallo and Hoyland. They didn't have much to do. And as you guys can see, the media's definitely going to love this. Andre or Nano. Uh... Just can't catch a break, can we? See, I'm trying to get Luke Shaw back on side. I'm trying to get him motivated, get his head in the game. He's just complaining about game time, just like Jaden Sancho. We've just got a bunch of crybabies in the squad to sort this out. You need to focus on winning games as a, as a unit, not focus on your individual game time. Um, next up, we have Bayern Munich. Uh, it is a very, very crucial encounter. They've already beaten us 4-2. Um, our pride I do want to get uh, um, get our lick back on them in terms of uh, the table though we definitely 
can't afford to drop any more points because uh, Galatasaray, they're going to be waiting for us to slip up. We don't want to enjoy Europe, Europa League football in the first season. That will be rather embarrassing. So if we can actually win, it will definitely help us out in, a, in terms of trying to get top spot. Okay, it's a deadly trio that we're going to be dealing with. Kane, Sané and Komen. They had their way with my defence the last time out. Um, so we're definitely, definitely going to look to try to get back at them. And uh, we are going to be fielding, I'm just going to quickly show you guys before I start doing the training and the press conference. We are going to be fielding a side like this. So Casemiro, he's still lacking energy. Amrabat, Amrabat is back in, but Casemiro can remain on the bench. Jaden Sancho, yeah, he's going to remain out of the squad until he uh, thinks about his uh, his actions. Garnacho is going to be back in the side despite lacking sharpness. Uh, he's been in really good form off camera lately. Uh, Wamba Saka, he's forced in the side despite lacking sharpness as well. Uh, we're, ha we're having real problems with the with the training schedule. Um, yeah, I, I knew I always knew this was gonna gonna be a factor. Yeah, I just didn't know how bad it was gonna look because uh, around this time is really crucial. We're gonna have a lot of fixture congestion in December, so we can't afford to have people out due to lack of fitness and lack of sharpness. But yeah, uh, let's head off into the game. I'm just gonna quickly complete the training and the press conference. Sandro. Come on. Oh, Rashford sends him. Fantastic. The turn. Malasia. Kimmich is on me. Uh, we've got Mount. Mason Mount running forward. Burst of forward with this ball. He's going to draw. They licked out of position. Across on the back stick. Header from Anthony. Save from the goalkeeper. He gets the rebound. It's 1 0. We've taken the lead in front of the home crowd. Anthony is definitely in good form. You guys can see going into this game. Two points behind uh, Bayern Munich. Definitely want to... Oh, no! Oh, my goodness me. What a ball to that back post. Sané has headed it in for 1-1. One, one. He's stuck in the goal. <laughs> He's stuck in the goal. Obviously, the smaller player out of the two in that duel. Oh, Musiala through on goal. Musiala to dink the keeper. Well done, with Aaron Wambasaka. Oh, that's, that might have just earned him a contract extension. Because Anana was beaten. I saw the headlines already. I saw the headlines already. It was going to be one of those weeks. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. He's beaten again anyway, but he's offside. He's offside. Coleman, you need to calm yourself down. The flag has gone up. Look at this. One last look at that. VAR. I think it's his right foot. He's leaning forward. Oh, too late. No, he's on. Rashford's on. Rashford's on. Come on, let's make it count. Let's make it count. Oh, no, it was the save. No, it was the save. Massive opportunity there. Gonna miss. Oh, oh, Mosiala played in up the other end. No, Onana's too far off his line. I don't trust this. Oh, it's 2 1. It's 2 1. They caught us on the break. We looked like we was going to get a goal ourselves. Bayern Munich. Uh, they turned defense into attack in a matter of minutes. Oh, Alfonso Davis bursting into the box. Oh, need to keep him tamed. It's a lot of footwork from him. Oh, referee, watch him. Watch him. Funny things are happening. Funny things are happening. I call sorcery. <laughs> it looked like it was about to cross the line there. We survived that somehow. Up the other end. End-to-end -end stuff. We look like we're going to hit them on the break. No, things have slowed down. Come on. Rashford, what are you doing? Help me out here, Rashford. Help me out. I've seen you give a few against me. Like that. Sane, no. He's getting goal side. No. Kane in front of goal. 3-1. 3-1. Uh. It's just that sort of clinical finishing that can uh, definitely, definitely kill your confidence. And uh, I feel like we will definitely end the game. We'll definitely give them a game to uh, the equaliser until the second goal, in fact. Because uh, we did have a goal scoring opportunity to take the lead again. And uh, shocking, shocking. Certainly I'm under the pressure. Hopefully these players keep playing for the badge. Keep trying to put in a performance because there's they're certainly still hope. We are going into the interval two goals down. But uh, we have a never say never, never die mentality. So uh, let's just see how everything unfolds. Ponzo Davis. Oh, it's the same stuff. Same stuff, guys. Oh, recover from that. Uh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. It's getting heated out here. Crowd ain't happy. Can't lose all of you. <laughs> 61 minutes on the clock. Let's hit them on a the break. Rashford. Rashford. Come on. In a foot race with Delict. He's too quick. He's too quick. 
Oh, referee, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to. Oh, you, 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 come on. Hey, move away. Musiala, what are you doing? What are you doing? Kane, stop, stop laughing. Stop making it seem worse. The guy can get back. Oh, you sent me off. Oh, this referee is a joke. There is no way back to back episodes. Oh, I get it. I get it. It was a bit aggressive. It was a bit rash, but I read. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that was a red card? I don't. I really don't. We're down to 10 men. Oh, backs are definitely against the wall now. Home crowd are booing. I hope they're not turning on me. I hope they're not. Because uh, right now, we're giving them every reason to. Come on, Rashford. Rashford. Here's a chance to get one back. Here's a chance to get one back. 3-2. 3-2 down to 10 men. We still have a lifeline. Okay. That right-hand side is going to be exploited, I can tell. Probably need to start think about other changes too to accommodate that. No, Kane is there. Oh, Nana finally makes a save. He finally, finally makes a save. I'm quite relieved, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> I'm very relieved at that. Uh, oh, come on. No one there. I could have played the ball in behind into Ante, but we're just... I don't like pumping the ball up the pitch and hoping for the best. It's not my style of football. Oh, what is Varane doing there? Headed back to keeper comfortably. Just made me feel a lot more nervous than I needed to. Oiland, lovely football there. Sometimes when you go direct, it does look good. Ericsson, outside the box, left foot strike. Neuer makes the save. Because I, I don't, I don't want to lose anyone in the midfield. I'm trying to push for an equaliser. It, it might cause them to score another goal, but we're going to throw everything at it. I'd rather lose 4-2. Then uh, lay down, dying. Let's go. Let's try to get back into the game. All played into the box. Head off from... Le oh, Lindelof. Try to find Rashford on that back post. Try to help it along the way into the back of the net. No luck there. Ericsson. Ball in. Back stick. Cleared out. Cleared out. Kane. Flicks it onto Coleman. Uh, Afonso Davis. I feel like they're going to aim for that back post. Yep, yep. Oh, my day. Sane. Sane has put the nail in the coffin. It's over. We've been sunken. They've done it back to back. 4 2 twice against us. It could probably make it more, but I think that's it. Rashford stands over this one. It's it. Right at the wall. Right at the wall. It's better than him hitting the disabled stands, which he used to do under Oli a lot with his free kicks. Okay. Davis. Oh, into the box. Harry Kane. 5 2, man. 5 2. What can you do? What can you do? He's the, one of the best finishers in the world. Like, literally, down to 10 men, but the best striker in the world, surrounded by um, lethal wingers. It's getting the best service. We can't stop him. We literally cannot. But yeah, I didn't expect this uh, to take this sort of a dramatic turn. Again, Harry Kane still to show alongside his uh, partners in crime in front of goal. Uh, definitely, definitely men against boys out there. Okay, so right now we're level on points with Galatasaray. Five games already played. And uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be down to the final game in the Champions League group stage. Uh, match day six is going to be against Copenhagen. We definitely, definitely need to secure a victory. We're going to be hoping for, for Bayern Munich to win as well, which is something um, I'm not used to doing, like hoping for other results to go our way. We never normally um, rely on other results on camera. But uh, look at it. 12 goals conceded. 12 goals. We've conceded more goals than Copenhagen. Over in the Premier League, we still remain on top of the table despite dropping points um, against Everton. So we're one point ahead of Arsenal and Manchester City. Uh, they're both second and third level on points in that order. Um, obviously, Arsenal are ahead on goal difference. Liverpool, they remain in top four. They're fourth place with 25 points. Brighton, they're doing well. Fifth place 
Uh, below them are Bournemouth and Newcastle United. Spurs are sitting at 8th with 20 points as well. Uh, if you want to take a look at the rest of the table, I'd say pause the video, but there's a lot of teams that are level on points, which still shows that it's early doors in the league. Okay, so right now we're level on points with Galatasaray. Five games already played and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be down to the final game in the Champions League group stage. Uh, match day six is going to be against Copenhagen. We definitely, definitely need to secure a victory. We're going to be hoping for, for Bayern Munich to win as well, which is something... Um, I'm not used to doing, like hoping for other results to go our way. We never normally um, rely on other results on camera. But uh, look at it. 12 goals conceded. 12 goals. Just, we've conceded more goals than Copenhagen. Over in the Premier League, we still remain on top of the table despite dropping points um, against Everton. So we're one point ahead of Arsenal and Manchester City. Uh, they're both second and third level on points in that order. Um, obviously, Arsenal are ahead on goal difference. Liverpool, they remain in top four. They're fourth place with 25 points. Brighton, they're doing well. Fifth place. Uh, below them are Bournemouth and Newcastle United. Spurs are sitting at eighth with 20 points as well. Uh, if you want to take a look at the rest of the table, I'd say pause the video, but there's a lot of teams that are level on points, which still shows that it's early doors in the league. So I want to get some of the contracts over the line just so players aren't leaving on, on a free. Martial's definitely going to be someone we're going to speak about, and so is Lindelof. We might just extend his contract um, because he is actually a good option off the, off the bench. He's just not my first choice um, option. And on top of that, we do need um, an improvement in quality in that position. So if we do bring in a centre-back, he'll be fourth best centre-back. And that's not bad um, in, a, in a side that's supposed to be challenging for trophies or in a rebuild. Um, having four central defenders um, is, isn't bad. And being fourth choice isn't bad. It's just whether he accepts that role or not. Because we've already got people complaining about game time. just want to nullify the complaints as much as possible. It's not easy. It's not easy to take over a sinking ship and try to keep everything stable. If you made it this far and uh, you've somehow enjoyed this episode, please remember to smash that like button. It does go a long way. Sub to the channel if you are new as well. And also hit the notification bell so you're notified when I'm uploading the next video. Uh, but yeah, follow me on Instagram as well for further updates outside of the channel. So if you don't, if you don't get the notification that I've uploaded, normally I'll post that I've uploaded. So keeps you up to date, keeps you up to date. Leave feedback in the comment section below as per usual or DM me on Instagram. Again, I'm still trying to pattern up this Discord stuff. Um, I'm really enjoying um, the, the responses, the feedback for the for the series. Definitely got me up and pumped, ready to record and uh, get back to work. After I finish the pre this episode, I'm always, always looking for... Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying the series so far. Obviously, the game still has a few teething issues. I'm kind of used to it now. I'm getting over it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the of the of the gameplay. Um, let me know what you think of uh, my style of play. Um, is there things that I'm missing in game? Because last season, uh, uh, last um, series, people will point out that I was being a bit too negative. I wasn't playing a direct ball when it was on. And when I started making those changes, we saw a massive improvement in the side. So. Yeah, you guys are also on. You guys are also considered the coaches too. If you guys see elements in my tactics that are, that is hindering us, let me know. Let me know because we are trying to get Man United back to being great again. But yeah, take care for now.